Let's go to Beetlejuice. You're on the air. Beetle? Yeah, it's me, bro. Hey, how you doing, Beetle? What's up? What's happening? Hey. I'm out here in Syracuse. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks for I'm what? I'm getting laid, bro. You're getting laid in Syracuse? <laughs> yeah. Beetlejuice is... Uh, Beetlejuice's movie is opening uh, Friday. Girl? What? Late, brother. Let me speak to the girl. Hello. Hi, honey. Oh, man. Hi. How what, are you? Where are you in a, in a, in a hotel with uh, Beetlejuice? <laughs> yeah. Did you do him? No. Oh, he thinks he he did. He you. thinks he's gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> what are you? Uh, you sound hot. Are you a stripper? Um. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Who's in the Who's in the in the room with you? Uh, Beetlejuice and who um, else? I think his name, what's your name? Hank of oh, Sean and Beetlejuice. Oh, Sean is manager. Yeah. And you're not doing anybody? No. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you no. Do, why don't you do the little freak? He'll love it. Come on. <laughs> Come on, honey, give him a break. His movie's opening. You could be Mrs. Oh, really? He's a star. Yeah. He's a star. <laughs> why did I you hear, come? I hear. I hear. Why did you come back to the hotel with him? Were you purchased for anything? Oh, no, 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 I got called. <laughs> Oh, you got a call? Oh, you're a call girl? Yeah. Oh. oh. So you're not yeah. going to do them? No. Why not? But, I mean, that's your job. <laughs> you're suppo- you know, you're supposed to do... Go- like, are, are, well, you, like, are you a mean, whore? not necessarily. I'm supposed to make them happy. Wait a second. Are you a whore? No. No, seriously, are you? No, seriously, I'm not. Like, if I call you and uh, I hire you for the night, I get, right. how, much, how much does it cost me to have you come over my place? Um, well, it's two twenty-five an hour plus. All right. So for plus two, what? Plus what? Plus plus. Plus tips. <laughs> yeah, plus plus. <laughs> so for two twenty-five, they called you. So that you're charging two twenty-five, right? Yeah, plus plus. <laughs> Honey, so you're not going to do them? Probably not. Why? Because Beetle's so freaky. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay. Hey, for two twenty-five though, what are you going to do? Just dance around? Do something. Oh, I know. Well, aren't I you going to even do Sean? No. No. He wants me to take care of Beetle. Oh, so take care of him. I am. What, are you dancing for him and stuff? Yeah. Let me talk yeah. to Beetle for a second. Okay. <laughs> Even a star. Oh, this is, I got to break the news to Beetle. I don't want to. No. Hey, Beetle. What's up? What's up? I'm talking to this girl, right? Yeah. She's a, she's a whore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, but, so what? No, but Beetle. She says she's not going to give sex to you. Oh, yeah. She's going to be happy. Do you know she costs two twenty-five an hour and she's saying she's not going to do you? She's going to do me. She is? Beetle, I thought you never paid for it. Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, just getting happy. That's what I want to Beetle, listen to me. Doggy style, baby. No. You're not going to be in doggy style. <laughs> You'll be in doggy style. <laughs> nah. She loves the doggy style. Did you lube up your head? <laughs> I never lube up my head. I look down. Hey, I don't lube up. I go up and down, baby. Hey, Beetle, what are you wearing right now? Are you naked? Huh? Are you naked? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. I'm strict naked, bro. Beetle, listen to me. She just told me she's not going to do you. She's going to do it. <laughs> no, she's not. Ask her. Ask her. Beetle. <laughs> he said he's talking about it. He said you ain't going to do it. Yeah, why? No, no, no. Ask her right now if she's going to do you. Yeah. She says she is? Yeah. Let me speak to her. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know what's going on. I just don't want to see the, 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 the guy get burned. Yeah, these broads, man. These broads can give you a bad you self-image. You know, the other day there was this girl from the Bunny Ranch in here and Beetlejuice thought... She liked him. I know. And I, I said, Beetlejuice, she wants money. And he got all upset. He was like, that ain't happening. <laughs> hey, honey, you there? Yeah. No, hey, Beetle, where's the girl? Let me talk to her. Want to talk to her? Yeah. I go, hey, honey, you there? And Beetle goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm here, honey. <laughs> you can call him, honey. Yeah. Hello? Hey, honey, did you just, hey. tell, Be- you just tell Beetle you're going to do him? I'm not going to discuss anything. <laughs> oh, so you are going to do him. I don't know. How much would it I'm going to do my job, pretty much. <laughs> wow. That's going to be freaky. I know. You'll have a story to tell. How many guys one. How many guys you do a day? Oh, I don't do it every day. What do you do, about six a day? No, I do it like 
twice a week. When you walked, so I in, work two days a week. Be honest with me. When you walked in the room, was that your first call of the day? No. All right. So you finished. No, it's like my third tonight. All right, it's your third. But you don't do everybody, you know. <laughs> so anyway, when you walked in, like, who answered the door? Beetle. Yeah. <laughs> did you like scream? In the dark. In the dark. Did in you scream? Dark. Was he naked already? <laughs> no. <laughs> and like when you when you when you saw him, had you ever seen him before on TV or anything? No, I haven't. And were you like free? No, I listened to you, but I've never listened to him on your show. Right. So. so you walked in and like, did you start screaming and stuff? No. <laughs> What'd you say? I didn't say anything. I just. Did they tell you to keep your eyes closed? Well, the lights were off. <laughs> <laughs> they got to turn all the lights off when Beetlejuice gets a woman. So, where, what are you wearing right now? Um, right now, I have all my clothes on. Oh. And what do you got, like a little slutty outfit on? Um, not yet. Did you just get there? Yeah. I just got here. Probably about 10 minutes ago. What's Beetle wearing right now? He's naked. <laughs> oh, my God. He was telling the truth. When are you going to have the sex? Because we want to we wanna listen in. We'd like to hear it. You'd like to hear it? Well, I'd like to at least know the follow-up. Um, Could you possibly know. get hot for him, or? I have no idea. Right. <laughs> I'd rather not say. Anything. Are you really good looking? Yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm not conceited, but I'm nice looking, I think. <laughs> you think I'm nice looking? <laughs> yeah, your self-esteem doesn't sound really high. <laughs> Two hundred fifty an hour. She's got to be decent. Mike, she ain't twenty five. Oh, yeah. You know. You know what I'm saying? I've seen. I'm really. Know. I'm like tall and slender, and I have long, dark brown hair about the middle of my back. Wow. Dark features. So what are you doing being a whore? You should act. I don't know. Well, she models Taking during easy, the day. I don't guess. You? Taking it easy. No. <laughs> I mean, doing Beetlejuice no. can't be a load of fun. <laughs> this is hard work. I mean, you know, baby. You work hard for your money. Baby, this has got to be the freakiest <laughs> call of the evening. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. So what are you trying to do, work up some courage to do it? Because usually the job would be over with already. Yeah, you don't right. want to spend all night there. Honey, no, if I, no, honey, I just got here. If you stay on the phone with me long enough, maybe they'll forget about having sex <laughs> and fall asleep. Maybe fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's tapping me on my arm. <laughs> he is? He's getting anxious? <laughs> let, me speak, let me speak to the little guy. Okay. All right. Yeah, what's up? Hey, Beach, she sounds real cute. Yeah? Yeah. She says she's going to go doggy style. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. You're going to have a good night, my friend. You got to wear a rubber, all right? I'm always wearing a rubber, baby. All right. So I understand you're naked and all set to go, huh? Yeah. All right. Let me speak to Sean for a second. Your manager. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Sean. Yeah, hi, Howard. Hey, taking care of the little guy, huh? I always got to take care of him, you know? Yeah, yeah, hey, this girl sounds cute. Yeah, she's very hot. So, uh... She's about 5'9", right? 5'9". Five five nine. Nine. Yeah. About 115 pounds. Nice. Plus, plus. So, plus, plus. And this is going to run you some uh, heavy change, man. 250 an hour. Yeah, about 350, you know? Yeah. But he deserves it. Hell yeah, I deserve it, too. Why didn't Sean help you out? Man. <laughs> You're the best manager in the world. I always said it. My manager my never agent, did this for me. My agent never got me laid. Yeah, man. So, uh, so uh, when's the sex going to begin? In a few minutes? Oh, yeah. You want to hear it? Yeah. Uh, are you going to be in the You're room? You're going to stay. I always watch. You do? I coach him. I make sure the rubber stays on, you know? Right. I'd like to hear it. What are you saying? Beetle doesn't know what he's doing? No, but sometimes the rubber comes off. He goes crazy, and i got to make sure, because I don't want to. You don't want him to have a kid. Oh, my goodness. No more beetle babies. Yeah. (laughs) Although that that would be your future, man. No kidding. (laughs) Think of your kids. Yeah. (laughs) What's your kid going to do for a living? A baby beetle. Who are they going to manage? All right. My son can manage the the beetle babies. Right. So uh, so when is the sex going to begin? Do you want to start the sex? I would like to hear it. <laughs> Can you get naked? <laughs> Perhaps you'd like to yeah, start. Yeah, gonna get sex. naked right now. Beetle's already naked. Yeah, I know. Beetle's always naked. Ever ready? What I call. Beetle's a nudist. <laughs> he had the rubber on about 45 minutes before she showed up. Oh, he already had the rubber on. Yeah, he already had it on. The little guy is horny, isn't he? Yeah, he's very horny. But he deserves. It. He put in a great show tonight, and so. <laughs> Where was the show? The show was in uh, Syracuse. Right. Wow. Yeah. Beetle put on a good show. And so why not? Oh, you know Hank's here with us. You know Hank's next door to us. 
Oh, really? Yeah, Hank and Beetle were uh, hired for the party tonight. Hank's right next door. Oh, but he doesn't get any poon after the uh, show. We woke him up. We tried to wake him up, but he was snoring so loud we couldn't get him up. So. Wow. Uh, he had too much fun <laughs> oh, at the park. Gorgeous, what a freak. Oh, yeah? Oh, uh, really gorgeous. What is she doing? What Unbelievable. Kind of- can you believe she's a whore? Yeah, pretty much she anything no else would be better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, can you believe she's going to do Beetle? Yeah, she will, of course. She's going to do it. Oh, my God. He gets all the best women. Is Beetle very noisy during uh, his... Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would think. Very expressive. Huh? Oh, my God. she got a beautiful body. Really? Yeah, really, Howard. Are you getting horny? Very much so, but I'm married, so I can't do anything. Right. right. <laughs> you know what sure. I'm saying? Do you get any excitement? <laughs> so your excitement? wife's okay with all this? <laughs> but does he get any excitement out of watching? Oh, watching Beetle just Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding? When you get turned on? <laughs> is the sex Is the sex happening now? Not yet. He went. He went in the bed. What are you doing, Left? I'm suddenly jealous of Beetlejuice. He's Man. putting the rubber on right now. In oh. the bed. Another rubber. Oh, he's <laughs> well, he just took it. the other one off because I don't know. It's been on a long time. <laughs> She's in the bathroom trying to get the window open. <laughs> are you ready for Beetlejuice? Are you ready? I'll for be Beetlejuice? out in a second. No. <laughs> Excuse me. Dwarfy, you know what dwarfy style is, right, Howard? Yep, dwarfy That's style. That's when he stands up and she's on all fours. It's like doggy, only for little guys. It's dwarfy style. All right, let's yeah. let's let's listen in. All right, here we go. All here right, come on, I- left. Get on all fours, baby. <laughs> Man, dwarfy yeah. style. No, get on left. Get on the dwarf. Dwarfy. What is she oh, on the she's... floor? For those of you just tuning in, we're talking to a woman who's uh, having sex with Beetlejuice right now. She was, she was uh, hired for the evening through Don't a service. Laugh at Beetlejuice. <laughs> she was hired for the evening. Yeah, we'll do that. Beetlejuice put on a good show up in Syracuse. And d- do me a favor, make the little guy feel good. Do a little make moaning. Make some noise. Yeah, make some noise. Pretend. Do something. Oh my God. Oh. This chick is great. Is he getting? Let me talk to Beetle for a second. Get past the phone to Beetle. She's dwarfy style. <laughs> Beetle, I heard, I hear her moaning. She loves it. Yeah. She's loving it. <laughs> Beetle. Yeah, what's up? She's loving it. She loves yeah. you. Yeah. She's moaning. She can't handle the beetle. He's busy. Beetle, let me speak to the girl again. She's a little more verbal. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's, busy. it's harder for Beetle to Apparently concentrate. Apparently, he's on it. into it. <laughs> yeah. Let me speak to the girl. <laughs> Pass the phone, <laughs> dwarfy style. <laughs> Beetle just went, yo, what's up? <laughs> yeah. What do you want? Hello, Howard? Yeah, Sean, let me speak to the girl again. Oh, you want to, you want to speak to you? Me? Yeah, put the magazine down, honey, and talk. I'm talking about Vanity Fair. Honey, are you there? Hello? Yeah, h- yes. how is it going now? Now we're about two minutes into this. Um, yeah. <laughs> his business, uh, is, is, how is, is his he, business? How is business? <laughs> It's handling. <laughs> yeah. Now, it didn't seem too romantic. There wasn't a lot of foreplay, was there? Right. No. No, no. it's just, uh, just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, pretty much. Well, Do you, you get... like it that way? Yeah. No. What? <laughs> Sooner the better. What goes through a whore's head right now? Yeah. Like, I mean, what's good? Yeah. Is doing or, yeah. like, did you think about, like, classes she failed that yeah. she should have went through? Yeah, like, what are you thinking right now? You thinking Where about your you parents? T- you know, what are you thinking about? I mean, you're in a room with one of the freakiest guys on the planet. <laughs> I know. Wow. What are you thinking? I don't know what to think. <laughs> Honestly, I really don't. Are you thinking you made a mistake in life? Yeah. Are you um, sorry? Are you, yeah. Are you sorry you picked this profession? <laughs> <laughs> right Sometimes now, I am. Like yeah. You know, I should have listened to my dad. <laughs> he said, "Don't be a hooker." No, but, but are you thinking of changing your life right you now? <laughs> Beetle is still going. Um. No, he took a rest. Oh, he's, he took now a he's rest. resting. <laughs> yeah. Is he done? I don't know. You want to ask him? All right, let me ask him. Wow. Hey, B. B, are you done? What's up? Are you done? Huh? Are you finished? Nah, not yet. So why'd you take a break? I'm still doing it, brother. She said you stopped. Huh? She said you stopped. No, I'm still going, dude. You are? All right, pass the phone back to the girl. I can't tell what's going on. I can't tell. He says he's still going. Hello? He says he's still going. He says he didn't stop. Yeah, he is. He's going now? Second. Yeah. Oh, now he's going. Yeah, now. Any better? Now? Is it, a little. Are you turned on a little bit? 
No, but I mean, that's okay. <laughs> really? Uh, how think? long do you think this is going to take? Probably about 10 minutes. <laughs> Have you, is, he, is he vigorous? <laughs> Is, are you freaked out by his teeth? What freaks you out the most about Beetlejuice? His <laughs> teeth? <laughs> yeah, what, what, is what, what is it? The size everything. of his Everything. <laughs> everything. Everything. Wow. Hmm. The little fingers. What? But it, seriously, as odd as he is, at some level, just the physical act of what you're doing right now must be turning you on somewhat. You must be feeling something. Hello? Shame? No, no. <laughs> are you ashamed? Disgust. Kind of. Yeah. But it's okay. Is this the most bizarre man you've ever done? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Is he saying anything to you during it? No. <laughs> Nobody's talking to you but us. Yeah. Right. We're, well, we're trying to keep you busy. Right. Like, you know what? <laughs> it's like when somebody goes to the hospital, you try and keep them busy. <laughs> we'll stay with you, honey. Don't worry. We're with you, baby. <laughs> we're not going to abandon you. I'm supposed to be taking a commercial break, but we're going to stay with you till the you. bloody end. We're going to get you through this. Yeah. We're going to get you through it, honey. Don't worry. We're going to talk you through it. Thank you. Is there anything about him you find attractive? No. <laughs> Nothing at all. Were you hoping when you walked in that Sean was the client? Kind of. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's talk to uh, Bill. Who it doesn't wants matter. It. Bill, you're on with Beetle. And by the way, honey, what should I call you? Uh, you can call me uh, Misty's fine. Misty? Yeah. Uh, Misty, you're on with Beetle and Misty. Go ahead, Bill. How you doing, Misty? Hello, how are you? Hey, I want to know if you're going to give me anal. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. Although oh, it might not hurt me any, but... Yeah. Whoa, not that it would hurt... Oh, that's... It's part of the plus plus. <laughs> Believe me, I think we should just call you Mother Teresa. You're a saint that you would do Beetle. Howard, this is the funniest crap I've ever heard. I almost hit a tree before. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the question is, Misty, what wouldn't you do for $225? <laughs> She's doing Beetle just right now. Are you thinking no. of getting out of prostitution based on tonight's experience? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, there could be a possibility. Right? Is there what any- do you do on the uh, rest of the week? You say you only work two days a week. Oh yeah. What do you? Uh, what else do you do? Um, I work a nine to five job. I'm in sales. Oh my! I'm, oh, wow. Yeah. Sales. I'm a mother too. So. Oh. oh, you're a mom. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You're doing it for the kid. <laughs> no, I'm not. Is your kid taller than Beetlejuice? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I tell you, you're not uh, far away from farm animals. I know. You know what I mean? This is pretty close. I know, I know. Is Sean videotaping during this? No. Sometimes he videotapes. He's just watching. Yeah. He's just watching. <laughs> yeah. Are you naked? Yeah. You're not wearing any sexy outfits? No. No, you're just naked. Yeah. Wow. Does she come with a bodyguard? Is she willing to walk into these rooms alone? Yeah, what do you no, do? No, I do. I have a driver. You do have a driver? Yeah. Yeah. By the way, Sean is going to bring in a goat next. <laughs> <laughs> is Beetle finishing now, or is it still going on? It's still going. Oh, my God. All right, vet. Does he mind that you're talking on the phone during it? I don't think so. I think they wanted me to talk on the phone. <laughs> uh, but you, does he make any noise? I don't hear him at all. Does he no, make, I don't hear him. But he's going at it. Yeah. It's almost like you're detached from, from what's, going down, what's going on below your waist. It's like you've almost completely Hello? separated everything out. Hello? Uh-oh. What happened? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Uh-oh, uh -oh. something terrible has happened. <laughs> Have you met with foul play? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hi, it's foul play on the phone. <laughs> it's time we met. <laughs> oh, there you She's are. Back. You're back, honey. We lost oh, you for a second. God, Misty. <laughs> Misty, we thought we lost you. We were worried your kid oh, would be taken did? from you. Sorry. Yeah, we thought your head would be chopped off or something. Oh, I was no, going to say, have you yet. ever? Yeah, imagine the authorities came right in and took our kids away. <laughs> they, they should. Yeah. <laughs> You're a good mother, aren't you, Misty? Misty, I... I am. I don't bring my... Don't you, well, <laughs> you don't bring your clients home? Do you have to get the kid no, from camp or something? <laughs> Although you ought to have let the kid play with Beetlejuice. How old's your kid? Um, six, three, and one. Six, six three, and one? one. Oh, God. Yeah. A, oh. Six, three, and one. Sweet Is the six-year-old taller than Beetlejuice? <laughs> <laughs> About the same size. The About the same size. Right. Than Beetlejuice. Did you Have you turned around and looked at what he's doing? Yeah, no, I have. How's he look? Does he have a look of ecstasy on his face? Kind of. Can you imagine looking back and seeing what that must look like? <laughs> and not running out of the room. I know, it must <laughs> be just horrifying. Maybe if you made some noise, he would finish. Really? 
Yeah, that could be a possibility. It's kind of hard, though, being on television. Well, why don't you try? Go ahead. We'll listen in. Go ahead. Try and let him finish so we can do the wrap-up here already. Hello? Sean. Yeah. Is Beetle done yet? Who's this? It's Howard. Howard. Hold the, oh, Howard? Yeah. Who the hell is he thinking? Who do you think it is? Wait a minute. What are you doing, Sean? <laughs> Sean, where are you? No, I'm right next to him. Who's this? Are you naked? No, no, no. You don't know it's me on the phone? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm... <laughs> this is Misty's six-year-old. Oh, she wants to know <laughs> when breakfast is going to be. You put my mom back on the phone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, Sean, what are you? Are you involved in this? No, nah, not at all, Howard. Oh, uh, you're just watching? Right. I'm just looking. You know, that turns me on. Is, is Beetle done? No, nah, not yet. How long does it usually take him? Man. He's, Beetle does take a long time. Really? Believe it or minutes. not, yeah, he really does. He takes about, I would say, 40 minutes. Oh, I don't 40. have 40 minutes. I tell you what, can I put you on hold and come back after the commercial break? Sure. <laughs> He'll still be at it. Yeah, we'll be on, Howard. Yeah. All right, hold on. Keep Mr. Okay. Tied Up. <laughs> Well, you're in the middle of hearing Beetle have sex with a whore. It's you know, amazing. Misty didn't know what she was in for. <laughs> I didn't realize you'd be up for this treat this morning. Yeah, it's that, great. That is unbelievable. Well, uh, I tell you what, I'm going to take a break. Paul Rodriguez will be joining us, and uh, uh, we'll go back to Beetle and his whore. See if they're done. We're going to hang in there with Misty, make sure she's okay. She's a mother, too. Oh, well, how old's your kid? Six, three, and one. Yeah. Mm. Oh, my God. She's like a field correspondent <laughs> for the show now. All right, and we'll rejoin their sex right after these words. Let's go back to that hotel room in Syracuse. Uh, for those of you who are just tuning in, something interesting happened here. Um, we got a call from Beetlejuice, whose new movie Bubble Boy is opening up on Friday. He's in a hotel room in Syracuse. Sean, his manager, called up a whore. And who are we talking to right now? Is that Sean? Yeah, this is me holding on now. Yeah, I'm just explaining that uh, you called a whore up to the room, and Beetlejuice is taking care of business right now. Yeah. And is the sex still continuing? Still is. Jeez. And uh, Beetlejuice, uh, hey, I heard something disturbing, Sean, that you put the condom on Beetlejuice? Well, I got to make sure it's not right on. You know how? You apply it to him? Yeah, I'm not gay, but... <laughs> Wait a minute. We're not implying that. <laughs> Something that crazy. How does Beetlejuice get ready to get the condom on? Well, the girl, you know, goes down a little bit. And oh, oh. oh, so he was excited, and then you put the condom on. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> wow. Now, there's an interesting job. You really I'm are. Not gay, huh? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> hey, you know, there's I all. Swear I'm not gay. We all draw the line somewhere. All right. Why, Beetle can't figure out how to put the condom on himself? What's that, Howard? Why can't Beetle put the condom on himself? Because he puts it on, like, reverse, and he just keep on pushing it. It doesn't go anywhere. Oh. He thinks he's putting You know, he puts it on the wrong way. Sometimes he puts it on too tight. You don't leave a little space at the end. It's very gay, Sean. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I, I don't know. Well, let me... Uh, not gay, though. Let me talk to Beetle, and then let me talk to the hooker. Okay. See you, right. And then we'll get to Paul Rodriguez, who's waiting patiently. Hold on. I'm sure he doesn't want to miss this either. What's up? Hey, Beat, how What's come up? the... Beat, you're still going at it, huh? Yeah. How is it? Good? Oh, yeah. I'll stand at it, brother. Is the sex great? Oh, yeah. Is the girl enjoying it? Mm-hmm. Hmm? Is the girl enjoying it? Yeah. Is she still alive? <laughs> mm-hmm. Is she falling in love with you, Beetle? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Is she conscious? Is she conscious, Beetle? Yeah. Are you conscious? <laughs> mm-hmm. You don't sound like you're that excited. Uh huh. You don't make what? no you don't make noise during sex? <laughs> yeah. Is she still dwarfy style? Huh? Is she dwarfy style? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm doing it all a bit. Let me speak to her. Wow, this is going on now over a half an hour. Let me speak to the girl, Misty. Oh, she's not here. She's she's busy right now. How? I thought you were doing her. She's busy. Oh yeah, we're That's what he means. You get hand her the phone. Yeah, hand her the phone. <laughs> ha beat, hand her the phone. He's busy. <laughs> Beetle. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> hand her the phone. <laughs> hand the phone to Give her the phone. Give it to the girl. <laughs> You want to sleep though? Yeah. Honey? Hello? Honey, what's going on now? 
Um, just still continuing. Wow, Jeez. it's going on over a half hour. Yeah, so probably about ten more minutes. How do you know? How do I know? Because the clock. <laughs> oh, I see. You're oh, only going to give them ten more minutes. You're on the clock. So the, that's when the cops yeah. are going to get said they'd get there. Are you getting a little tired or worn out? A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Are you getting excited at all? Oh, she sounds excited. Yeah. <laughs> Are you really? Is he is he any good at this? Is he getting better? I don't know. Maybe I could teach him something. <laughs> yeah. You're just enduring this, aren't you? You pretty much. <laughs> wow. Are you going to go home after this and take a long shower? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like in the movies after like a woman's been raped? Scrub yourself with a yeah, brush. Yeah. Do you have a wire brush you scrape yourself with? <laughs> Wow. Wow. Did you go to high school? Yes, I did. College? No, I graduated from high school. Right. Yeah. Now, what kind of sales do you do during the day? Um, actually, it's um, a promotion company. Hmm. Hmm. So yeah. you must make a pretty good living because Beetlejuice is paying about three fifty, and <laughs> and uh, yeah. you, you did another yeah, guy I earlier. Did pretty well. You did another guy earlier in the night, so that's seven hundred right there. <laughs> So you're pulling down a couple of grand a week, right? Yeah. Were you inspired by the movie Pretty Woman? Um, actually, I do like that movie. <laughs> you do like it. Yeah. Well, I'd love to but film you never a movie. Run across Richard y Gere. Yeah, I'd love wow. to film a movie with you and Beetlejuice. Oh wow. The Pretty Woman too. <laughs> right. See, this is really what. <laughs> this is the yeah. real Pretty Woman. You never yeah, get a guy. Exactly. Who, you never get a guy who looks like. Uh, <laughs> Richard. No, Gere. not Richard Gere. <laughs> right. Is he still going at it? Yeah. He is still going at it. Man. Yeah. Is Honey, he making any sound at all? No. <laughs> give him a couple of moans. I feel bad. Let him think you're into it. Right now? Yeah, you better. You better. Maybe he'll finish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she kind of she kind of reminds me of the chick who had you know, remember in the elephant man she you know oh, he was like no. you yeah. have been too kind oh, thank you for your kindness <laughs> she's like that chick you know she's like a real oh, wow. saint <laughs> man honey this, I, I would love to see the expression on your face when you opened up that door and it was oh, Beetlejuice Lord. she didn't leave them standing there naked you know who's a lucky yeah. guy is the next guy she does oh. yeah is gonna oh, look like no. Robert Redford yeah the, yeah, that guy's gonna be like you know. She's gonna be like, thank God for she's you. She's gonna fall in love. He'll yeah. just be he'll just be an overweight bum. But the fact of the matter is, the first guy she meets, he'll look somewhat. <laughs> if his head isn't completely misshaped, she'll be like hot for him. <laughs> he'll you, be an overweight bum who doesn't leave the house, but he'll be prince charming right. to her. Hey, let me bring uh, Paul Rodriguez in, and we'll leave you on the phone. I want to hear when the girl's done. I don't want to okay. miss that, but I also want to let Paul come in here because he's not only funny, he's promoting a movie. That's more important than anything. But he's not doing this kind of promotion. Look at what Beetlejuice <laughs> is doing for Bubble Boy. You know what? Paul couldn't possibly be funnier than Beetlejuice. <laughs> there's no... Uh, you can't buy promotion like no this. Paul, you ain't going to beat this. I don't care how funny you are today. <laughs> you can think you're the funniest guy in the world. Uh, I don't know how to follow... <laughs> How do you follow, you know, midget banging? I don't know. I followed Richard Pryor. I followed Kennison. I don't, I don't know if I can follow this, you know. Dwarfy what you, style, you can't follow. Have you seen Beetlejuice on I've TV? seen Beetlejuice, you know, and at first when I was listening to you, I said to myself, She's only laying him because she knows you. You know that. Do right? you think that's the case? Hey, you, you are like, you're like God to every midget right now listening. <laughs> yeah, you think? I'm sorry. I don't know what politically correct is. But you make a good point. She probably would have left the room oh, if yeah. she saw oh. that freaky scene. Oh, yeah. But she, she said, said, oh, it's when Beetlejuice. When we first talked to her that she probably wasn't going to do it. Oh, that, I think us talking let to me, her on the phone. Rob, let, let me, me ask tell her. you something. Yeah, let me ask her, first okay. of all. You know, if if he if he calls you into the room, that's like that's like ordering a pizza and just getting the box. <laughs> yeah. You know. Well, let me get her on the phone for get you. Her Paul's on the got phone. I want to talk to Misty. 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 <laughs> let me speak to Misty. Okay, hold on. Let me make the introduction. Yeah, please, because please. you're a very forceful guy. Please, Howard. Right, please. Right. I want to talk. To Misty. Paul yeah. Rodriguez, who I'm sure you've seen on an endless uh, comedy shows and uh, Tonight Show appearances, yeah. he has questions, and his first question really I have probing wow. questions. He Mitzi. has probing questions. Go ahead. First of all, <laughs> first of all, Mitzi, 
Uh, Mitzi. <laughs> Mitzi. <laughs> for, I'm sorry, it just made you Jewish. For, first of all, uh, a Jewish whore. First of all, yeah. Uh, uh, Mi- Misty. Mitzi. Have you ever, have you ever had to apologize to your vagina before this time? <laughs> Have you ever had to, are you going to go home, look at your vagina, oh, wow. and go, I'm sorry? You know what? Wait After a second, this, though. But, Paul, you brought up a good point. Let's right, not forget right, right. it. Paul says you probably would have run out of that room if you didn't know Beetlejuice from our show. Right, Is that right. true? Celebrity well, has. No, it wasn't only that. I mean, I, it was. A call I had to do, so I was. Oh, like, you, know, uh, no, oh, you, you weren't going to do him until you, you talked to him. You us. said first of all, you <laughs> said no. I was just going to come in. You even said in the beginning, Paul's right. He, he, you said that you I weren't know, even going to do know, him. I know you're right. But yeah. then you said this is Howard. I'm talking to Robin. I'm on national TV. I'm not just a regular I know, but whore. I didn't really want to talk you know, about I'm like it. a national. Now whore a pretty now. woman. I'm yeah. Julia yeah. Roberts. I'm, I'm, yeah, there you go. I'm in show business now. And another thing, I want to commend the manager of. Of uh, Beetlejuice. Of Beetlejuice. Because yeah. look, I got a manager who I have to, you know, I can't get him to give me a limo. Right. Much less put a condom on you, me. You walked here that's, today. Yeah, that's full. And you're a big star. You know, let me ask you something. I'd like for you to manage me. Yeah. You know, if you need another act. I'm telling you, this guy really gets the job he done. He loves his clients. You know, is how- it gay to put the condom on Beetlejuice? No. No, a he's great just man- good no. management. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. Exactly. He's clients. protecting his investment. That's great management. Right there, you have a lot of schmucks out there who don't who put don't on. do that. That's you know, true. That's but true. this guy will get you a whore. Will put the condom. On. I wouldn't be surprised if he was guiding him through. Uh, and she sounds like a good-looking woman. And she sounds like you know what? He could have gotten a cheap woman. You know, Missy, I'm gonna be at Caroline's. Uh, Missy, uh, Mi- go ahead. Missy, <laughs> I'm, Missy high high bomb. I'm gonna be at Caroline's. First, of course, if I, if I do you, I need you to be dipped into that, uh, that you know that blue stuff they the have at barber barbershops? Yeah, you, we can just dip her right into yeah. one of those blue barbershop right. bottles. I want to dip you in that for about a half an hour, <laughs> and then... Then oh, I'm gonna wow. give you a, then I'm gonna give you a taste of Mexican. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah, that like? yeah Mexican, honey. That's, that's right. You're gonna go international. You now. had you had some dwarfy. Now you're gonna yeah. have some. And that's Mexican. another. That's another thing. What are you charging? Three fifty? Yes. He's that's a, a lot. dwarf. He should get half price. <laughs> the yeah. man. I don't mean to interrupt oh, the phone here, but... Can the man kiss and penetrate at the same time? Are no. you shocked by his stamina? This is over 42 you, minutes I he's mean, going. Yes, you I'm very, very... Uh, you, uh, you are shocked. <laughs> Honey, is he still going? No. Oh, he's, he's done? done? He, yeah, well, he oh, wait a second. I bet he wasn't talking, done, Howard. You know? She just she just took put him, him off out. the clock. Hold it a second. Yeah. I got to interrupt for one minute. He's finished now? Um, I have no idea. Or did you stop it? Or did you stop it? You know, I, I, I got another idea she, for you. Uh, she stopped it. She stopped it. The clock was running. You know, Why did you stop it, though, honey? You could have made more money. Come on. I'm willing to donate. I'm, I'm going to throw in another 100 bucks. I'll throw in another 100 also. There you go. 200 bucks. Let the guy I finish. Swear, I'll mail it to you right now, but you got to get on behalf First of- First of all, you're a man. I'm a man. You know he's still horny. Is he doing- Oh, yeah. Is he, Beetlejuice. Is he, get him on the phone. Is Beetlejuice doing his manager right now? Um, actually, he's in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, wait, well, let me let, oh. let me ask you something. He yeah. did not yeah. complete the act. Oh, no, no. I bet he No, did. no, he didn't. No. no. Let me talk. Let me get to, get Sean on the phone, please. Okay. You know what Beetlejuice is, is doing in that bathroom. Oh, I know. <laughs> you, you, you know hey, tell it. Bang on that bathroom. Tell him to stop. He's gonna he get might a- be a mentally <laughs> retarded dwarf, but you know he knows what to do. Yeah, Sean, uh, I'm here with Paul Rodriguez, by the way. He's going to be at Caroline's Comedy Club. Yeah, send me your card, Sean. <laughs> you know, He's Julia Roberts always finished her clients. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sean, she, she yeah. didn't finish him off? He, he didn't know. He didn't do it. Is, is, is he in the bathroom now finishing himself? Bang he's on that bathroom. bathroom. No, he's in the bathroom putting another condom on himself this time. <laughs> oh, he's putting a condom on himself. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done putting condoms on him. Oh. And, and we ruined is that. Is she going to leave or is she going to go at it again with him? Um, are you staying, honey? Hey, we're, we're, I'm, you know, that's another hundred dollars. It and and Howard's throwing 200. in another. Hundred, you got two hundred bucks. Is she gonna stay? I don't even care about promoting my show. I want to see him finish. Yeah, another hour. Please take care of you. Please? Oh, they're begging. Wait, wait, let me hear this. This is a terrible I need, negotiation. I need him. I need him. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? On behalf of all the little people. <laughs> let me talk to her. Sean, let me talk to her. Okay, hold on. Yeah. She has uh, to do uh, a uh, cheetah at 8.30. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. Honey, I'm sex with a leopard. He, he, <laughs> Beetle went in the bathroom to put on another condom. Are you going to finish him or, or are you going to leave? I have no idea. 
Uh, I think you ought to stay. Let, let me give you an idea. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead, Paul. Let me give you an idea. Uh, okay, you you go can ahead. you can make another hundred dollars from Howard and me, and that'll buy him what a half an hour. Yeah. And if that doesn't finish him. I'm going to fly down there and have to do it myself. <laughs> right. <laughs> but we are going to have some. somebody's going to Somebody's going to finish. Well, wait a minute. Let me say something, uh, yeah. Mitzi. Uh, yes. <laughs> Mitzi. <laughs> Go ahead. This is not saying very much for you. Yeah. Yeah. What kind yeah. of advertising is yeah. this? Yeah. Mitzi, are you done for the night? Are you just You're so worn out? You're calling Mitzi, too. <laughs> yes. Are you just worn out? No, she can't be worn out. This is what she this does. This is her second guy, though. She's got- <laughs> and this kid's going 45 minutes. He's a midget. Yeah. <laughs> How bad could it be? How bad could it be? Come on. Honey, you didn't feel much, did you? No. Was it just humiliating to be with a dwarf? Not you mi- really. I mean... Can you get past the humiliation and finish the guy off? I, I think the point of low self-esteem left a long time ago. You do. Know, you don't think this is the worst this thing? Is, no, no. There, there, are, there are worse things ahead for you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought this... I can just, I'm going to, look, I'm no, I am no Mrs. Cleo, but I'm going to go on a limb yeah. and say that if you follow this road, this is just the beginning of, the of, a, of, the, of a big circle oh. of, a horrible of circle. horrible crap right. coming your way. And yeah, dead. There's got to be some drug addiction or something oh, that's yeah. going to do you in. Yeah. Some, this some, is the top of the slide. What's at the bottom? Misty? Yeah. Misty? Yeah. Uh, I will wire you a hundred bucks. What do you think? Do you do you think you're gonna finish him off? I don't know. <laughs> Come on. When are you gonna decide? He, he That's ladder. on him. I can't. He's got. <laughs> and Mitzi, right. you actually sound fine. You sound doable. Five foot nine, one hundred fifteen, hundred twenty pounds. She's, oh man, she's got a killer body. Who do you look like with your face? With your um, face. who do I look like in my face? <laughs> Ed Asner. It has. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you understand. I kind of have like a Jennifer Lopez look. Oh, oh, oh! Now, now I know you want two hundred from me alone. <laughs> <laughs> she hit you right where it hurt. I'm gonna cancel my show at Caroline's tonight. All right, we'll fly up to Syracuse. <laughs> honey, I would do any. Honey, any what? chance of me get? If I fly you down here and pay you, would you come down here and be on the show with Beetlejuice? Oh yeah, yeah that'd, be, would. that'd be you great. would. Oh, so that's great. Stay there. Not only that, but listen, I got yeah. an agent that I, I know you'd be perfect for a, a role on the Vagina Monologues, <laughs> right? Because oh, you got a lot to say. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, this vagina could talk. So here's yes. the deal. Why don't you finish Beetlejuice off? Yes. Okay. And then we'll fly you in. We'll oh, pay you. Yeah. And uh, you'll appear here live on the radio with Beetlejuice. Okay, and I think a little enthusiasm yeah. will help. Yeah, hey, this is this, you're going. You're going to go national now, girl. Yeah. you're going to go national. You're going to be more famous than that. Yeah, but that chick that, that, you know, you know what, honey? That, you're going to be more famous than that chick that did a Hugh uh, Hugh, Hugh Grant. Hugh Grant. What was Divine her name? Grant. Divine Brown. She made like a fortune off yeah, of it. That's right. Let me say something right now, honey. I think go everyone's ahead. fired up. Paul Rodriguez oh, has I'm added excited. some sort of Everybody's new energy it. to this. Get Beetle out of the bathroom now. Yeah. Moan and groan, and let's hear the crescendo. The Come whole on. country right now is glued to this. They don't even want to know what Gary Condit did. Really? This, right. is, this is more exciting than Mariah Carey's breakdown. Right. This is the most exciting thing on radio right now. There are there are people, millions of people right now going, Come on, finish that midget. Let's right. go. Uh, Black power, where baby. Is, where is, where is uh, Beetlejuice right now? He's sitting next to me rubbing my ass. All right. Oh, Why oh, did you get into dwarfy style? Let me speak to Beetle for a second. Okay. Is that all he wants? Go ahead. Beetle? Hello? Beetle. Yeah. Come on. Finish finish everything off right now. Beetle, listen. Uh, hey, hey, Beetle, is she pretty tight? Is, is, is her thing pretty tight? Or, oh my. or are you going to want... You might not want to know that. Or are you going to want full <laughs> anal action? I don't think that's going like to happen. Man. It's hey, pretty tight. Beetle, Beetle. Beetle, go yeah. ahead. Go ahead and finish up and, and give her the phone. Give her the phone. But yeah, yeah. Like we're going to right now. Give her the phone. Okay. Beetle, because listen. I think we could be here all day. If you're not hung like a regular man, I would suggest to, like, use Hello? your foot. Wait a second. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Go ahead. Put me back on the phone. Is he, do- is he doing it now? Let me ask you. Is he no, like- we're going to have to give the phone to Sean. Is all he right. hung like a man, man? Is he hung he like... He says he's a little small. He's a little yeah. small. Would you mind if he used his foot? <laughs> Just to honey, satisfy you. Honey, why don't you moan a little, get into it, and let's hear the crescendo. You're a good Come act for yeah, you. yeah, yeah, go, go ahead. On. Fake it. It ain't like you ain't done this before. Fake go ahead, it. let me hear. Okay, hold on. Go ahead. Here we go. Now you're gonna see some activity, there some we... action. For those of you just tuning in, Paul Power Rodriguez. Up. Yes. Sean. Yes, Howard. Is yes. he finishing now? Um yes, he's gonna take care of it. All right, tell her to moan. 
Okay. Let me hear. Well, it. put on a really yeah. good show for him. Yeah, yeah, This is yeah. exciting, Paul. Oh, let, let me tell you, Howard. This is you know out of the, all the times I've been here. <laughs> yeah. This is this, this is, is the this best. Is the best time I've been here. <laughs> I don't care about any promoting anything. <laughs> right. This is it. This is it for me. <laughs> This is the apex of my career. Yeah, aren't you glad you woke up early? Uh, this is this is better than watching uh, watching you wrestle Busey. Here you I'm go. Here. All right, let's hear the moaning. Come on, get them going. Hold on. Give the performance of your life for Beetlejuice. Come on, moan any bonics or something. Something. Here she goes. She's going to do it now. Give her a chance. Go ahead, baby. I'm going. Go ahead. Be a good girl. You believe yeah. this is in a hotel room in Syracuse, <laughs> Beetlejuice? Oh, baby. Yeah, and wow. the police haven't found it yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> have the police not had enough time to find what's, what's know, going on? Just look it. for a pile of condoms outside the window. <laughs> hey, what's going on with police work does, these days? Does your vagina have a low jack system? <laughs> <laughs> Moan in disgust. It doesn't matter why. Go ahead. I don't hear you making Just noise. Just fake okay. it. Go ahead. Go, go ahead. On. Make them go. Oh. That's it. There you go. Give it to me, Beetle. That's it. That's it. Oh. Now you're working for your money. Beetle, baby. Come oh. On. Yes, Beetle. Oh, yes. yeah. You just repeat what I say. We'll feed you yes, the lines. Beetle. Me and Paul Rodriguez will yeah. feed you the lines at Artie Lang. Okay. <laughs> Beetle, you're the man. Yes. Beetle, yeah. you're the man. <laughs> you're the black man. You're the black man. You're the black man. You're the black Superman. You're the black Superman. You're my salty peanut. You're the black Superman. You're my salty peanut. Méteme la pinga. Méteme la pinga. Pinga. I don't know if you can handle that. Pinga, just yell that out. Say harder, harder. Harder. Beetle, give me your baby. Harder. Beetle, give me your baby. Dame tu chihuahua. Say beetle, give me your baby. It'll turn him on. Come on. Fertilize my egg. Yeah, fertilize my egg. Scream it out, please. I'm ovulating for you. Go ahead, say beetle. Fertilize my egg. That's it. There now you know. you're working for your money. Come on. Give my one-year-old a black brother. <laughs> Give my one-year-old a black brother. Come on, scream it out. Please. Give my one-year-old a black brother. Give my one-year-old a black brother. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Beetle, you wow. are so hot. Yeah. Honey, you just oh, repeat what we say. So that's, that's it. That's it. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Is he enjoying this? Screw me like government. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Screw me like the government screws yeah. me. <laughs> Beetle, Beetle, I'm thinking of making Screw this a like freebie. <laughs> Beetle, I don't want any money for what I'm doing right now. You know, tell yeah, right. Me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> say, say, Beetle, you're as powerful as a poodle. Right. <laughs> Come on. Say it. Beetle, can Sean put in my diaphragm? <laughs> Give me your beetle meat. Uh, yeah, beetle. Tell him he's hurting. <laughs> Give me your beetle meat. There she goes. Honey, you're not doing it like you mean it. Yeah, you, I know. You're you guys are like <laughs> Give me your beetle meat. You know, think of this as a warm-up. Yeah. You're like Yoko, honey. You're beetle one of the meat Beatles. Meat. Yeah, you're one of the Beatles, honey. You're yeah. one of the Beatles. You're, you're all four of the Beatles. In all seriousness, Beetle, I love you. Harder. That's it. Beetle, I love go. you. Harder. Beetle, I love you. Give it to me. Say, um, Beetle. Yeah. <laughs> she said that like she was talking about the money. Yeah. <laughs> Beetle, I love you. <laughs> Give it to me in 20s. <laughs> Come on, you're. Tear me apart. Give it to me in cash. Tear it up. That's it. Tear, tear me it apart. Tear me apart. Tear it up, baby. Tear this it belongs it. to you. Split yeah. me like dried firewood. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come Do on. me like Jesse Jackson. Oh. Yeah, give me a Jesse Jackson. <laughs> Make me forget oh. high school. Choke me. Say choke me. Oh. Make me forget math. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Make me forget my miserable oh. childhood. <laughs> Pick yeah. me up like a... Oh, this is it. That's good. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's real. That sounds real. That's real. Oh. Yeah. God. Now that sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Some Don't stop. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, that was terrible. Throw up on my back. Just keep saying throw up on my back. That turns them on. Say it. Come what? on. Throw up on my back. Yeah. Throw, throw it on my back. No, throw yeah. up on my back. Yeah. Slam oh, no. your pancake batter. <laughs> give me <laughs> <laughs> Give me your pancake batter. Give me your pancake batter. Give me your beetle <laughs> give me your say, beetle batter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give, give me, me the beetle yeah. batter. <laughs> <laughs> honey, honey, say give me but. your beetle batter. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a yeah. David Copper. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Hey, hey, you know what turns them on? Say, bang me, you ugly dwarf. Oh. <laughs> oh. Say it. Say it. Come on. That's me. Say, bang. All right. All right. Give me mean. your. Yeah. Give me your beetle Shoot batter. Shoot your Quaker oats on me. Yeah. yeah. Be Give me your beetle batter. Yeah. Uncle Ben me. <laughs> Uncle Ben me. <laughs> Come on. I want your oh, midget. Uncle Vito. Uncle Vito. That's good. <laughs> she, she's getting Simplified. creative now. Say, say this. 
punch me in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Real funny. All right. Let me give, give you me, a blumpkin. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Give me your midget DNA. <laughs> yeah, call my parents. <laughs> <laughs> call the authorities. <laughs> give me your midget money. <laughs> Sarn said you want him to wake up Hank. No, use, I don't. Use oh a God. plunger. <laughs> Say fertilize. Treat me like the NYPD. <laughs> fertilize me, you midget. No, that's me. Tell him, tell him your genital warts aren't contagious. Reproduce <gasps> me. What? <laughs> oh, she didn't know about that? S scream this out. Just yeah, right. Scream this out. I'm telling you, he'll be done. Club me with a metal pipe. <laughs> 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 All right, I can see this is gonna. Is she still going? Yeah, well, we're, we're gonna stay with this. We're gonna we stay better with, stay with it, right? We, we, yeah, we got it. We, how can you bail out? You like know, the half the country the needs to finish what? now. What? What'd you say, honey? That it's the topic of the morning. I know. Uh, you you are so fa you have su had such an impact all over the country right now. Midgets oh, are yeah, fondling right. themselves. Well, I tell you what, you keep going. When he finishes, we'll keep you up online. I want to talk to Paul Rodriguez about a couple of things. And he's just, still okay. going? Yeah, he's still going. No, no, Howard, let's stay with wow. this. You think so? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, Beetle, the record. Beetle, let me talk to Beetle for a second then. Can okay, he talk? This is ridiculous. Beetle, you might have to... You might have is to... he having a problem? What's up? Beetle, why are you not What's finished? Up? Let's hope it's you. Huh? Are, are you done yet? No. Come, it's, come it's on. Done. Come on. It's over an hour already. Hey, huh? It's over an it's hour. Get... What? What? It's You're doing it? Are you almost yeah. are you Are you on something? It's almost done. Almost. almost. Almost done. All right. All right. Well, you know. Almost. <laughs> now, are you a screamer, Beetle? Do you, do you make a noise? Huh? Do you talk to them? Oh, yeah. Sweet talking. Baby. Yeah. Well, sweet talker. <laughs> Let me hear you sweet talking. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no. Get black on her. Go black on her. Go <laughs> do it for your people, hey, you know? You know it. Do, you do it like, you know, you, know you, that you plantation you know that owning. Yeah. Bitch, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do like, um, what was the you name know, of that movie? Roots. Yeah. Oh, Mandingo. 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 Yeah. Mandingo. There you go. Yeah, go. Go half Mandingo on her. <laughs> Paul, oh, yeah. this is going to take a while. This is, so let them <laughs> let them do their thing. When we, we hear the ending, hey, but, that'll but, be it. But we, we, we're still in, in touch. We're in touch. We're we're in not, touch. I'm not turning All it right, off. Fine. Hey, hey, Beetle, just yell out, squeal like a pig, you whore. She'll like it. Squeal <laughs> like a pig? Yeah. yeah. Not you. Not, not you. you. <laughs> no wonder the guy That's can't the fit That's the problem. It. That's the problem. He's, he's gonna, squealing. He's not going to turn hey, around. Hey, Beetle, let me ask you this. Yeah. Does she have a strap on? Who's doing who? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Beetle, you, if you're a man, you should finish already. Slap her ass. Slap Make her, her ass. scream. Slap the ass. Yeah. Oh, you know that. You know that. Get some you know, back. Mama it. got some back. She looked like yeah. Jennifer Lopez, right? Slap a real man can deal with it. Slap it. Slap that ass. It doesn't sound like you're a real man. I'm a real man. <laughs> I is. I is a real man. Now you're talking a little black. There That's you good. Go. Yeah. Hey, I'm a real man. I is a real man. That's good. Uh, That's yeah, good. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> She'll like that. Anyway, Paul. Sir. Uh, <laughs> it's great seeing you as always. You you, you well, seem you to. You uh, call me Paul Stepper. What? What? <laughs> he's, he's, he's talking dirty to her. I think he's grind her like a tortilla. Paul says. Hey, she likes a tortilla. Slap it into her tamale. Come on. Yeah. Give her the tamale. Give her the oh, whole enchilada. Time. Give her the whole enchilada. She like a tortilla. All that enchilada. All right. <laughs> Beetle, let us know when you're finished. All right. Yeah. So, all right. Sometime before the show's over, Beetle. Right. It's all already right. over an hour. Damn it. Concentrate. Okay. Effort back to Mexico. <laughs> no, okay. don't hang up. Don't hang, don't hang up. up. Hey, hey, don't hang up. Don't hang, we don't hang hear, up. We want to hear the finale. Oh, no, we want to talk to her. <laughs> yeah, put her back on the phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She's busy. She's busy. Oh, she's busy. Wait, oh, wait a minute. Is she orally satisfying you? No. She's making breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she's making me breakfast. She's counting. Satisfying. Are you paying her? Did you pay her in ones or something? <laughs> she's counting her money. <laughs> she's counting her money. She's Paul. writing her goodbye letter to alcohol. Paul, will you be wise? Let me change <laughs> the subject for a second. Vagina. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me change the subject for uh, a second because yeah. I'm curious. Are you going to be watching Gary Condit with Connie Chung tonight? You want to know something, Howard? You're not going to believe this, but this is true. I'm actually his constituent. Oh. My mom. You're from Modesto? Yes, from Modesto, California, up in Fresno, that area. He's my congressman, and I got a scoop for you, a story. I did a fundraiser for him and, uh, and the other congressman, whose name is Dooley. Right. Dooley and Condit. Right. They're from that area. Yes. I did a con I did a, 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 a fundraiser because, oh, you know, they wanted me for the Wait a minute. What? What's going on? <laughs> What's, what happened, Beetle? 
Boy, what a way to kill a story, huh? He's the worst heckler in the world. I know. Yeah. <laughs> he burps once in a while, and yeah, we all want to know. Hand the phone to the broad, will yeah. you, Beetlejuice? He's too busy. <laughs> oh, boy. I think we lost we him. We can't get a, through to him. Yeah, he, the, the, wait till he's done. Yeah, yeah so, you, so you get well, a... So check this out. Uh, about, Why did you agree to do the fundraiser? Were you a fan of his? Well, he, you know, my my fa- I, I own farms up there. And right. My, my home, my whole family were migrant farm workers. We own citrus farms. Right. And he has actually been a very, very good uh, congressman. You know, we had water water irrigation problems. Uh, we had a couple of years ago. We had a freeze. So he addressed so, the so problem. He was a good he, congressman. That's he's what a great says. congressman, and let me tell you, <laughs> he just likes girls. You know, and I don't even see the problem with that. But I, but I <laughs> until s- one goes missing. Yeah, you know, until yeah. until you, you know until you're part of dismembering one down the Potomac, <laughs> I ain't got no problems, you know? Because, I mean, which one of us, which one of us can throw, you know, say, if, we, right. yeah, if we live in glass houses, right? Yeah, you've dismembered a few women. You know, you, know you just never got caught. Why do you think I'm not in Congress? You, know, <laughs> yeah. not, you don't think I got enough votes? You would run, but... Hey, man, if everybody in California whose last name ends with a Z would vote for me, I'm in, baby. <laughs> that would be it. That would so, be it. So, so, so Gary, anyways, yeah. we're, we're doing a, a fundraiser, and as true as I'm telling you, we're doing a fundraiser, and uh, and and the Sacramento King uh, dancers, cheerleaders, come out, and I'm sitting next to I'm sitting next to a condit, and he's staring at them. You know, I'm looking at them. You know, these are really fine looking girls. Right. I'm looking at them like you know yeah. a normal leering guy would look at somebody. Right, you know? right. Going, hey, that's nice. That's as far as I'm going. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, hold on a second, Paul. What, what is it, honey? Bulletin. Yes. Oh. Well, are they done? Um, no. <laughs> it's still going oh, on. Oh, man. This is, is I he, know. <laughs> well, uh, you better finish soon. Don't you have to take your kids to school? Hey. Yes. You, you, know, you know what, uh, you know what, Misty, uh, uh, Yeasty, yes. uh, you might... <laughs> You, you <laughs> might have to do this manually, you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe you need to help him out. Yeah, change position. You maybe might, get rid of that. Oh, I tried. Yeah. <laughs> try, try the manual, the manual, the, the manual. I don't know if there's any help. All right, so is the sex over? The bunny, do the, you do the two-finger so. bunny rabbit. The sex is over, Paul, thank God. It's over. I Honey, I, I want to fly you in. I want to meet the girl that did Beetlejuice for over an hour in a hotel room, and I'm going to put you on hold, and we want to speak to yeah, you, and, okay? And I'm going to be watching right. that. Sh- and, and, look, and, and we'll invite Paul back. <laughs> and, let me, and let me call in wherever I'm at. Yeah. Yes. Uh, on this planet. You are in. <laughs> you know, because I, I feel like I've been... I've been You're, you're part of it. Yes. This has yes. been a menage <laughs> Mitzi, <laughs> Mitzi yes, hold on. Our, our, our crack team of producers will take care of you. There hold you on. Go. Right. So check okay. this out, Howard. Oh, yeah, so, exclusive. Thank you, yes. <laughs> so, Paul, this is an amazing story, this what is, you're telling us. So you and Gary get Connie Chung. You got the scoop here, right? All right, go ahead. So you're We're, there, and you're looking at the girls. fundraiser. I'm looking at the girls, and he's sitting right... There's a guy in between us. I think it's one of his, one of his handlers and stuff like that. And I hear him. What's this, what's happening? What is it? You got to put it on hold because it's. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, there you go. Okay, <laughs> everyone's interrupting your story. What's going on? It's like hecklers. <laughs> it's like nobody I wants really to hear. Nobody wants to hear the nobody end of this story. Hear, like, yeah. I got Party, it. Party, you want to hear the story? It's, it's things telling a story, and, and the audience are black midgets having sex with a whore. Yeah, it's like this is the this is the nightclub from hell in here. <laughs> you know, people having I'm, sex during your act. Nobody's coming to Caroline's tonight. <laughs> no, nah, it's tough. It's you the, better bring Beetlejuice with you. You know what? You know people are gonna pick at me. They're gonna go. You know you in you you were you know into. You were midget interrupters. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to hear the little guy get off. Yeah. So anyway, so you're so sitting there. The, all the chicks are there. All the chicks are there, and they're dancing. And they're, yeah, there must have been, what, 10, 10 12,000 people, you know? Right. It's a fundraiser for, yeah. the, for the congressman. It's a lot of farmers. And then, then you do this uh, this little private thing you do. I'm sure you've done a the lot. The meet and of, greet. The meet and greet. Yeah. There right. you go. You do right. your act first, and yeah, then you, yeah, 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 okay. Right. Yeah. Then, you, then you do the meet and greet and stuff like right, that. Right, right. And the girls come over, right? And he is just, I mean, he is like leering the wife ain't there of course and I, not. I met the wife before and actually not bad looking she's not bad looking yeah, right. and she's a nice lady right you can't find anybody who'll say anything bad about you can't she's a saint she's just a very nice lady you know and it's and, a strike you as peculiar that she's on the cover of people magazine standing next to him well see this is this is why they're not latinos if you notice <laughs> hillary yeah. Stood by her man. Right. Kathy Lee Gifford, white, stood by her man. Yes. Partly Jewish. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. I don't got my ethnicities. Yeah. She, Marianne, right, stood stood by her man. You know none of them are Latinos. You never saw Henry Cisneros, old lady, standing by Because <laughs> right? a Latina woman will go, will go. you know, Lorena Bobbitt. Right. Will, you know, uh, will divorce you, will leave you, will It's stand. peculiar. You don't know from this, right? You don't know from women staying with you after you've, like, cheated, like, multiple times. 
times in this kind of thing. It doesn't done over there. And you know what? This isn't something that you just started doing yesterday. You right. Know? She had to know about it. There's this. a pattern, you know? Right. We're so, off. So he, he's there without yeah, the wife. The girl he's there without the wife. He's hitting on thing. the chicks. Yeah. He's hitting on this chick. There's right. a, there's a Sacramento. I wish I knew her name because you can call her probably. Probably she she could probably get some fame out of this. We're talking a couple of years ago. I don't know if they change them around every year. She's uh she looks Filipino Asian, really pretty, nice right. package, nice girl, and clear as day. I can't believe it. Right? He goes. He asks her to go with him. Wow. She go, and he goes. While you're listening. Wow. Well, yeah, I'm standing right there, and the man <laughs> is hitting on the one I got my eye on. Did it you make know? you? Did it make you lose faith in your congressman? No, it made me proud. <laughs> hey, it made me proud. <laughs> I went, I'm sorry. I'm sick. Maybe. I, right. Maybe I'm sick, but since so a normal guy. Yeah, but right. but he, he was like a bro. He's like cool. He's like he, he was like yeah. He was going. He was going. So what's your name? And she had she had one of these. Weird names. Weird names like, you know, uh, a, a Felinia, <laughs> Fellini, a Felindia, Felahinda. Felatia. Yeah, Felatia. <laughs> and, and he goes, well, here's my card. And swear, he goes, here's my card, and uh, this is my private number. And, you know, if you ever go to Washington, D.C., you know, I'd like to give you a tour of the city. Oh, my goodness. Right. And, I'm, and I'm saying, wow. uh, and I'm saying uh, you know. And He's a congressman. He should be busy. Yeah. And, what a move. And, at first, at first, I said to myself. Man, this guy really cares about his constituents. Right, right, right. right, right. But he, uh, but he didn't, he didn't, he didn't ask me to go down there. Yeah, right. And yeah, I, I just raised, you just, you just, I just raised, raised about $10,000, 15000 dollars for the fool. He doesn't want to give you a tour yeah, with yeah, a private phone number. When you come you know, to Washington. By the way, this woman uh, that you that he hit on is she now missing as well? <laughs> I don't know. You That's a good question. Her, you it's, haven't seen but, her. But you know what? I I don't I, I don't follow the Sacramento Kings uh, lately. You know, because I've been out of the country you know i've been I, I've notice been, she's not there they have no cheerleaders <laughs> left they have no cheerleaders <laughs> left well, I don't, do you think that he had something to do with this girl missing or did he just have bad luck Nah, i i don't really think it's in him you know because all all things said and done from from my limited experience of knowing him i think he's a guy who went through a midlife crisis who always likes chicks the, the marriage got boring it you know the sex got you know right. all a habit but do he, you believe these guys that? you know power you know uh, 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 what's his to meet name? young girls yep yeah, they always uh, congressmen have uh, there's they got a lot of groupies that's a fact and I mean here but you what about the 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 bondage stuff under the bed and all that the stuff? dog Do collar you believe well, that that's, you know. like putting no. the girls in collars and I, handcuffing them and you choking know what? them and I, that, would, that wouldn't shock me you know because <laughs> the other day when I was tying up my girl yeah. I said to myself I feel normal you yeah know? I've done that <laughs> you know, I, did, did, did he ask you to wear a dog collar. <laughs> No, no, no. no. And in all seriousness, in he's all seriousness, in, he's not into. He's not here. Into. You you worked with the man. You're still here. You're not missing. <laughs> you know what? Here's here's my idea. Not everybody here's, goes here's missing. My thing. My thing is, I don't believe he had uh, really anything to do. What he tried to do is the same Clinton thing. Yeah. It like it came out, and then you know I want try to hide it from the wife. Try to hide it from the wife. Right. I think but what the happened, wife knows. You gotta know she knows. Well, yeah, you guys yeah. don't know that. Yeah, but they don't want to know. They don't want to admit oh, it. There's a lot of women. Uh, there's Got a lot kids. of women. See, women. Women love. Their, after women have kids, they love their kids more than their husbands, and that's a fact. That's true. You well, know, you know, love, it works the other way. Am I right? Way, you're right. Are it you works there? The other way. Are you no, there? Right yes, now? you are right. It works I got two the kids. Am right. I with them? No, no, that's true with Misty. You know, Mitzi. Mitzi's out doing Beetlejuice. She's phoning a midget black man for her child. Three children. Uh, three of them. Three, six, three, and one. Three and a half. No, three and a half. For you, <laughs> baby. Yeah, yeah. That's but, how those kids can get an education. Yeah. See, right. see women. They'll do anything They'll for the do kids. anything. And after a while, I think, I'm not blaming women, but after a while, you know, they neglect the guy. They do. The guy gets busy. Yep. This, uh, I think Kissinger said it best, that power is the greatest aphrodisiac. Yeah, that's right. They have a great power. Congressmen have a lot of power over, you know, budgets. And, you know, they're able to get into all the best restaurants. Right. You know, uh. So that's attractive to these that's, young that's women. These special these, trips and all right. that. There you stuff. go. Yeah. These girls are 20, 21. So you think she must have been abducted I, by somebody? Yeah, but, someone who had a crush on her. I think. I think what happened is that he had uh, the sexual relationship. He didn't want to talk about it. The media jumped on it simply because you know, uh, first of all, they're trying to get even because this guy's a Republican and the, and he's right. a, and he's like a, a. But would you vote for him again? He is. He, you are his constituent. I is would. He did? You would. I would. You I would vote for Gary Condon again. I would vote. <laughs> now, if, it, if <laughs> yeah. they find yeah. out, if they find out that his brother, right. who by the way is a, you know, he's convict. Yeah. Stuff, stuff's coming out about him. Yeah. Now that could be the other theory could be that perhaps he got knocked up and right. then he couldn't hide that. But I. 
Now, Gary that I know, would he would just fess up and say, you know what? I, I had a child. I think his wife would still have stayed with him. And uh, and uh, I think tonight what you're going to see, I bet you, because I know this guy. I've been, I don't know him, know him. Right. But I've been around. What he's going to do, he's going to have these long... Uh, uh, be, uh, right now, he's going through a guy who's training him how to talk. He's going to have these. He's going to say a lot and say nothing. The right. same thing that Hillary Clinton, Connie Chung's going to go. She's going to ask him, when did this relationship first start? Right. And then he's going to go, well, it, it started rather innocently. And, uh, you know, we first met. Uh, I thought she was uh, just a, a nice, hardworking girl. And, and then, you know, <laughs> she started to stay a little late. Right. And after a while, and you know, it's going to burn five minutes. I know gonna, it was wrong. They're right. going to edit it. They're going to edit. And, uh, you know, my heart goes out to the family. Bet you hear that line. Uh, 20 times. You know, my Easily. heart goes out to the family. Right. I've cooperated fully with the police. Now, what if Connie Chung is such a great interview? tonight and she and she's broken down she breaks down her subject and he admits that he killed Chandra Levy you'll still vote for him no no that, there, there, that, that would stop that, that, there's right. a limit right well, there because you know you know the, the parents the parents you know you're a father and right. I'm a father right you know you, can, you, you can't imagine sometimes you almost you almost just uh I think the worst uh, thing in the world is to never know what happened right it's awful yeah, you, know, you, you rather have a, yeah. have a you need closure you rather yeah. have a body do you think Condit will try to point the finger at Paul Rodriguez tonight? Hey, That's what I'm afraid yeah, of. You know, you, go, you, know, you know, this Mexican I met down there, he looked like he's... I saw him yeah. leering at some cheerleader. <laughs> he was leering at a cheerleader. Right. You know, I could use the publicity. <laughs> Apparently, the only way to get noticed by Hollywood is you got to have a drug habit <laughs> yeah. and rehab. That's you right. Know, it's like, like Robert Downey Jr., you know, he, he comes out and he gets an $80,000 a job. Yeah. You know, on, it's on, not fair. On, you, you're a clean guy. You I'm don't get clean. those jobs. You know, they won't put you on TV. They, they won't. I can't get arrested. Gary Conn's going to go, I believe Chandra's buried on Paul's citrus farm. Yeah. 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 I would love to invite People Magazine to come to my citrus farm. Right. And There's take a, a few pictures take, of you. Take some pictures. You right. Know. Start I bought, a rumor. I Let's bought go. it from Juan Corona. Let's talk to Chuck. Chuck, you're on the air. You're on with Paul Rodriguez. By the way, Paul's going to be at Caroline's Comedy Club in Manhattan tonight through Sunday. For more information, go to carolines.com. Also... Paul Rodriguez and Rat Race in theaters now. Oh, hey, the other day I was listening to you, and you guys were dogging me on tortilla soup. On tortilla soup? Yeah, tortilla soup with Raquel Welch, that movie that's coming out. Somebody here was trying to do me, I don't know, was it who? I don't even remember this bit. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking tortilla about. Tortilla Soup is another movie anyways. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm in the Ali movie, too. I'm very proud of that. Oh, you are? With Will Smith? Yeah. Does he look like Muhammad Ali? When I, he... That guy, uh, I, 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 if there's any justice, him, Jamie Foxx. Michael T. and John Voight. Uh, this is going to be the most nominated. Uh, uh, really? Award. It's yeah. that good? You've seen some of the film? Yeah, I've seen. I've seen 20 minutes of it. It's it's awesome. Who I, do you play? I play Dr. Ferdy Pacheco. That's, oh. that's what my hair is oh, about. Right, right, right. Okay, we good. went to Mozambique, Africa. We were there for uh, six weeks. Did you enjoy we, it? Uh, Africa? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way, right? <laughs> Not Mozambique. But let me tell you something. <laughs> no comment. I yeah. can't say this. Yeah. I can't say this, but one of the black actors said this. And yeah, we the, read it. You got to understand, it was the funniest thing at the <laughs> moment, right? Because his was, dream was to go to Africa. I read about it in the paper. Right. This black guy said, I don't know which guy Michael said. Michael T. Michael T. Mike, said, yeah. he goes, my dream was to go to Africa. Right. And he says, I'd love to come back and tell you it was great. He goes, it's crazy over there. He goes... <laughs> All the black people, all the natives were stealing all our he stuff. Said you couldn't yeah. leave anything in the hotel. Because I hated Michael it. Michael T and I were so <laughs> tight, but that wasn't the line. Yeah. The funniest line, and I hope Michael T, if you're listening to me, you don't get mad at me because only you can get away with this. Yeah. He said, we were, we were going to film in this shanty town, and it's funky, and it's smelly. <laughs> yeah. Robin, with all due respect, it is nasty. Yeah. They are wiping themselves with leaves. Oh, oh. They, And those are the, high, the upper that's class. That's the upper class. Right, that's yeah. a good hotel. Let me tell you. I mean, yeah. And that's us in the hotel. You're right. And Michael T. said this, and I hope my African-American friends will understand that there's no malice. I didn't say it. I'm repeating it. Right. He said, man, I'm so glad my ancestors were slow MFs <laughs> and were able to make the trip on the big boat. What did I right. tell you? Every once in a while I go into Howard because and I say. I'm telling you, you know, you hear about how bad America is and how African Americans have been mistreated. Right. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's a picnic. Go to Africa. <laughs> it's nasty. You will come back kissing the ground. What did you do for fun? I mean, like, like what you, fun? No fun. Well, what fun? What everybody? There's nothing to do, bro. There are people dying of AIDS in the streets. Oh my yeah. God! So There's, what do you do? Just lock yourself in the hotel room? Lock yourself up. Put on a wetsuit. Spray, yeah. spray yourself. 
so. <laughs> what do you eat over there? Like, like I ate I ate papayas and bananas. Yeah. I lost almost fourteen pounds. <laughs> you know? it's like, How it's long like, were you I'm, there? It's like Survivor. Six weeks. Oh. Six weeks. But the most beautiful part, we did go to uh to uh to Kruger National Forest. Right. Now, that that was beautiful. And the most exciting part was that uh, we got invited to uh, Nelson Mandela's house for dinner. Right. And I got to meet Nelson Mandela. You know it's bad? The dude was happier in jail no than kidding. he was. In, yeah, he it, said, I don't want to live. And he doesn't li- live in Africa anymore. He lives in Mozambique. Yeah, yeah right. In fact, and it <laughs> is dangerous. You know, you know, you talk about crime here yeah. in Johannesburg. Tough. Joe Town. Everybody's got a. Everybody has got a gun. Did all your stuff get stolen too? Like- no, no, my stuff. See, I was smart. My stuff never got stolen. <laughs> Why? Because they give you a guy who who takes care of your dressing room, right? Yeah. So I told my brother, his name was Joseph. I said, "Listen, Joseph, see all this stuff. See the radio. See the clothes. See all this. <laughs> all this is yours. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna take anything with me. Right. All this stuff is yours. Compliments of me. Yeah. So he <laughs> watched it you. like it was plus, own. Plus, I spoke Spanish and Portuguese is really close. Oh, so you can communicate. Yo falo portugués outro. Right. Uh, ben, 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 portugués como se se compre. Anyway, so so I tell the I told the guy I said all this stuff is yours. All I want is to be able to use my radio, my CD, be able to use my clothes, my mosquito net. While I'm here. While I'm here. <laughs> right. When I'm paper. gone, it's Christmas. So you were the only guy <laughs> Never who didn't my, get anything stolen. Nothing. Not a thing. Well, you're Please smart. don't take my mosquito And these you other are guys. You smart. Guess what? I didn't understand. I even told Michael T. and I told everybody else. I said, listen, you guys are rich. Yeah. By any standards, you got money. Make a deal. Make a deal. Well, well, that ain't right. You know, I mean, they're supposed to protect us. Well, the people who were stealing the stuff were the guards. Right. <laughs> so, oh, my God. What a you, nightmare. But that's going to be a big film, right? It's going to be a huge film. Muhammad man. Ali. Let me tell you, Will Ron Smith. Silver is awesome as Angelo Dundee, uh, Howard Cosell as John Voight. Jamie Foxx. John, John Voight is Howard, Howard Cosell. Can you believe that? No, is, is, is it a and great he's, casting? He's great, man. Does he give the talk like, you know? You know Ed, see, the hard thing about Howard Cosell is that everybody and their mother thinks they can do Howard. Right. right. My mom, you know, Ed says Howard. Yeah. He's a truculent young man. He's down. <laughs> he's yeah. down. Frazier's <laughs> down. <laughs> but the, what's great about, about uh, uh, John Voight is that he didn't go over the top. He didn't try to be he like Howard Cosell. Him, he played him great. No and kidding. Him, and him and Will have some of the best... You know, you know how uh, Ali used to always threaten those, pull off that wig? Yeah. Right. They improvised. And I, I got I to gotta say this, you know, uh, Michael Mann should have won the uh, Academy Award for The Insider, I believe, that Russell Crowe, who I also had the fortune to do a movie with him. Uh, he called, didn't deserve it. He didn't, he didn't deserve it for Gladiator. I think no. he got it for, for The Insider. Michael Mann, you know, certainly a nomination, uh, quite possibly a win because it, it, there's so many great actors. Uh, you know, Nona Gay, Marvin Gaye's. Uh, yeah, they don't get the uh, credit because they don't have. Like Julia Roberts won the Academy. Well, Ellen Burstyn what? deserved yeah. it for yeah. Requiem for a Dream. Yeah. She was brilliant in it. But Will, Will Smith will surprise everybody. Really? I did. A, I did a movie. I was in a movie, I should say, with him before uh, Made in America. That uh, you know, the Whoopi Goldberg, Ted Danson thing. And, oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Will, Will and I were basically minor parts there, you know, and now, of course, he's, he's a superstar. Great guy. Nice guy. Hasn't changed. As a matter of fact, he's doing MIB. Did, uh, he, get in, did he get in shape for this? Man, oh, yeah. He would, like a muscular? You, 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 nobody called him Will. Nobody called him nothing. Everybody called him Ali. He spoke like Ali. Wow. He looked like Ali. So he's a real good actor is what you're he's saying. He's a great actor. Yeah, he did a good job. He gets nominated. I, I say he gets nominated. Wow. Absolutely. Wow. Hey, Chris, you're on the air. Oh, hi. Hey. hey, listen, I think you should put Paul in the Jackie's seat. He's a lot funnier than a lot of the white people you've been putting in. <laughs> there you go. That's it. No, no, no white people you know, in the Jackie's seat. <laughs> you know, Howard, seriously, no man, white. you can give me a job. Why don't you Why don't you Latinize this place? You know, the census just came I out. I would give you any job. 20% what do you... of the population. You, of course you're entitled to a job here. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, Talk listen. Some coke. Yeah, you'll get a job in two seconds as soon as you get out of rehab. Yeah, look, just, uh, look I, I work for cheap. Just give me a oh, you're one. Of, you, hey, I've always said it. You're one of the funniest guys in the world. You know it. Everybody knows There's it. There's an open door policy here. Yeah, there's you? open door policy oh, to you, my friend. You're welcome, It's man. not like the rest of America. We welcome you here. <laughs> check, check this yeah. out. I'm in Sun Valley, California, right? I get called to do this uh, do this benefit for really, you know, well-off well off people. Right. So I'm in the uh, Warner Brothers jet, right? Yes. I'm in this jet. That's got to be the highlight of your life. My life. Check right. this out. I'm, yeah. in, I'm sitting next to Clint Eastwood. Wow. Sidney Portier. Oh, my God. Suzanne Plachette. Wow. Uh, who else? Uh, 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 R.J. Wagner. 
Wow. Uh, just the head of, uh, you know, just, I forget these guys, but they, you know. The people. people. Like I've never felt more like Richie Valens in my life. <laughs> wow. I'm yeah, you're this, going down. I'm in this jet, right? <laughs> yeah. And that was my biggest fear. <laughs> right. That if this jet goes down. Nobody will even mention you? That I won't even make the movie of the week. <laughs> That's bad. You know? Yeah. And I'm sitting to myself and I sit to myself and, and I and I performed and I, I really rocked, I rocked them out. And you're a great performer. Made them laugh. And then I said to myself, you know, I'm here with these power guys. Why am I so damn unemployed? You know? <laughs> right. And you know, it's funny. It's so, what so funny. What is going on? Like, you compare you with R.J. Reynolds. You've got talent. You can get up on a stage. You can make people laugh. You can act. What can he do? What does he do? Uh, I, 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 don't, exactly. I don't want to dog nobody. You can dog him. But anyway, I, I can get a, you know, you should at least throw me a job on on, uh, on, uh, on your show, man. Absolutely, I will. On, hey, let me ask you a quick yeah. question before I run out of time. Yeah. Did, have you been following what's going on here in the Bronx? We have a team. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, but but the, the kids look like they're about 25 years old. Nobody knows how old they are. They're well, supposed to be well, 12 you know, years old. I listen to some really, really racist stuff uh, about this team. And we're talking about the Little Bombers, right? Right, the Little from, Bombers from right. the Bronx. Yeah, and they're talking about their illegal aliens. They're talking about <laughs> That's this. Right, yeah. They're trying to deport Amante, Danny Amante, right? <laughs> yeah, the kids something. will all end up back. That's, and what, it's... that's what's wrong with America. Right. We're deporting the wrong people. <laughs> This kid ought to be drafted by the by the by the by the think, Yankees. Do you think he's twelve years old? He's not twelve. There's no way, right? He's got well, a voice like a man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I know. I don't know anything besides they're playing a team that's actually from California. You right, know, right? But you know what? They've gone through so much struggle, and there's so much prejudice against these Latino. You're Puerto pulling for the guys. I'm pulling for All the right, Puerto that's Rican, good Dominican no, babies. What's funny to me is nobody's parent lives here. How many kids do you know that none of them need their parents? Hey, you know who we should deport? <laughs> we should deport this Russian guy who shot his whole family. Can't by the way, let me make a point. Guy. Let me make a point about him. What? Everyone's and saying. Puerto Ricans are not illegal, by the way. You know, uh, Puerto Rico is a, a, an American. <laughs> that's right. You know, territory. Whatever. Territory. There you go. <laughs> Thank God for that. Whatever, whatever. that means. Whatever that Whatever they are. And Listen I'm to Mexican, me. and I'm not illegal there either. There you go. Who knows with you? Mexico's no one's ever checked your papers. Whatever. That's true. That's Literally, true. You know, everyone assumes you're illegal. <laughs> Who knew he had citrus farms? Right. Oh, and I'm sure there's <laughs> illegal going on on those citrus farms. <laughs> but in all seriousness, yeah. you talk about this guy who just wiped out all the his Ukrainian kids. Ukrainian guy. Right, right. He is no different than this woman on trial right now, this postpartum not. depression. Oh, he had postpartum depression too. That's what he should complain. He say, "Listen, I wiped out my kids. They were getting to me. Yeah, they were making it, me well, crazy." Do you there you know go. What they said the Women can day? do it, and that woman. They're saying now that woman will not be uh, tried oh, for no, no. first degree murder. Being tried I've for said first this degree before. Murder. I've said this before, and I've said this in my act. What? You know what? Whites, you guys commit the kinky crimes. That's the true. The weird ones. You That's know, true. Latinos, blacks, you know, we stick you up, we take For your money. gun, yeah. you know, we move on. <laughs> you know? Yeah. We don't take you home like Jeffrey Dahmer, eat your penis with rice aroni. <laughs> right. You know? We don't we don't keep your head. We don't we don't keep souvenirs. He's right. I mean, even think about it. The, the guy we coming just do on ordinary, you know, crimes. Our guest coming on after you is a white guy. He's going to eat a a, uh, a, a cow's penis. And a heart. And a heart. And some well, eyes. Yeah, he's a white guy. Well, I have no problems with that because Mexicans eat that stuff <laughs> they do? all the but time. But did you hear I didn't know what that. they said uh, this Ukrainian guy might have been upset about? They said they found some notes, right. and it looks like the family spoke up. They of course. They actually objected to no, no. something. Nobody said, listened hey, to the hey, guy. Hey, Howard, trip on this. Yeah. I read up on this guy. You know, you know how unaccomplished you have to be for the Ukrainian army not to want you. <laughs> he got rejected he from got, the Ukrainian got, army. That's true. It doesn't <laughs> he was rejected <laughs> from the Ukrainian army because he was unstable. <laughs> how did he so get here? How did he come to America? How'd they let him in here? That's if he can't what I want to know. And then you're trying to deport my my, my little Dominican friends. <laughs> yeah, right. keep that. That's right. That's outright. At least they're playing baseball. Wrong. These kids. That's right. And then I, I want to say it on the record. I hope, even though they're going against a California team, I hope that the little bombers win it all. Uh, too bad. Uh, too bad that they're playing tonight while I'm working. I'm gonna watch it on ESPN two. And in fact, I said to Alex Walu yeah. over at ABC, they should put it on the ABC network, and they are gonna do the final game uh, on that. Sunday. 
I hope the I hope Amante wins because I'm telling you right now, this dude's gonna be worth two, three hundred million dollars. Now's the time to get him, girl. I hope now's, he's got a few pitches left when right. the money comes. Did you Good see his Lord. arm? Did yeah. you see the pitches? But there's no way he's twelve. He's got to be about eighteen or something, right? <laughs> no, that's said. why he's calling the little bombers, not the baby bombers. Right. <laughs> what's what's I don't even know uh, what's what's the limit? The par- what? Well, the, the, limit. Supposed, the kids are supposed to be twelve. The problem is he came over here. There's no birth certificate, so they're guessing he might be around twelve. Yeah, but so the Taiwanese did the same thing a few years. Back. All right, take it easy. <laughs> Robin's thinking of going out with the kid. <laughs> he seems like a nice guy. Hey man, right. You know, you know what is like like Powerball. Nobody won it yesterday. Not Nobody won Powerball. In fact, Gary lives up in Connecticut. And that's going to be like three hundred and fifty mil. The white people are freaking out in Connecticut because what? everyone is driving up to get their Powerball, and you can't get back to your house if Including you're a commuter. Me? Yeah, you can't eat. <laughs> right? What happened uh, to you yesterday? I get to the Connecticut border, and <laughs> traffic comes to a screeching halt on the highway. Right. And it's just going really slow. And it's people you don't normally see. Well, here's a funny thing. You know what I mean? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Right. I, I get off. <laughs> the baby bombers are in the car. <laughs> don't laugh. Yeah. I get off and I go on a, on these back roads, which no one is ever on, and those are all backed up. Right. The traffic's all backed up. Because everyone wants to get a ticket. So, so then I get on, you know, the, 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 a main road, which isn't the highway, and I look at the car next to me, and I notice on the back of the car, there's an antenna that's about 20 feet high. I'm not kidding. And I go, gee, that's sort of an odd thing. And I look, and it was a black dude driving because they, black guys, for some reason, love to put big antennas on the back of their car. You know, the TV antennas and the big long antennas. TV and so- antennas. Why is that? I don't know. Robin, speak up here. I don't yeah, know. Robin, come on. About? You know, Paul black, guys, about. black guys love great tennis shoes. I don't know about the antenna. <laughs> right, right. A brother, brother likes sports shirts so, so, and, and shoes. So then, right. so then I get to, I had to go to the supermarket, and right next to the supermarket is where they're selling uh, Powerball tickets. There's got to be 150 people online. Wow. Mostly black and Hispanic. Couple right. white people, of course. Oh, yeah. And, uh, so and the police there, the police yeah, there well, are trying to... You're not used to seeing those people up in Greenwich. You're saying... paying all that money for it just to see white people. That's oh, so why you go up right? there. You kidding me? <laughs> you don't pay that kind of money for a house and then see a you lot of black... You have any idea how many hookers I would have <laughs> if I would win that Powerball? That would be unbelievable. And you know what? Just in all fairness, uh, they closed down a couple of brothels in town. They closed down four brothels in the last two yeah, years. Yeah, they did so too. All right. So, so, uh, so the police, you know, now the police have to come out and monitor the line. And the police are trying to be really nice. And they're saying, if you go a mile up the road, there's no one online. You right. know what I'm saying? Because everyone's going the to the first town. Right. What are you and talking they say, about? And they're being really nice to go, listen, you're there were people maybe a hundred deep online. You know, wow. that should be that should be the defense of this guy who ran over this Latino family. He was on his way to buy a ticket. Yeah, everyone would understand that. <laughs> yeah, people would go, All right, I'm sorry, you know, but he was in a hurry. He did have a reason. Uh, uh, Paul, it's great seeing you. Thanks, you always Howard. kill wherever you go. Thanks, if you haven't Howard. seen Paul Rodriguez in concert,